This video is all about changing the look of Windows 11 taskbar and start menu to something more which looks similar to Windows 10. Basically, your taskbar and start menu will go from this to something more like this. Oh, and by the way, if you are interested in my current desktop wallpaper, make sure that you check out the first link in the video description. And now back to the context of this video. So if you want to achieve the look of Windows 10 start menu and also taskbar on Windows 11, you will need to install a third party program, which is called start all back. If you Google this website, or you can also pause the video and check the video description for this link, you can then here on this website, navigate to this download section here. Here, click on this download button and you will get setup.exe file. Then you will click on it. And here you should also see the installer. Here I will pick install for everyone on this computer and on the admin prompt, you will select here, yes. Now you should also see immediately changes in the taskbar as well as the welcome screen of the start all back and on the welcome screen of this application you should see three themes to apply on your taskbar as well as on your start menu so the first one which is already selected is called proper 11 so this imitates the windows 11 look of the taskbar as well as the start menu so this is how the taskbar actually looks like now and this is the start menu which looks something like this. Now, if you here select the kind of 10 style, you should see the taskbar actually change, which looks really something like Windows 10 style, as well as the start menu is also changed. Here, we also have remastered 7 style. So if I select that, you should also see this acrylic effect of the Windows 7. And also here on the preview, you can see this very, very clearly. And here, if I open the start menu, you should also see modified start menu, which correlates to the Windows 7 theme. So I will here select kinda 10 theme. And once you selected the theme, you can then proceed with the start menu tab. Here, you can actually disable the start menu. So this will revert back to the default Windows 11 start menu by turning this option here off. Then you have visual style. So the default one is Windows 11 style then we have plane 8 which is Windows 10 style and then we also have Windows 7 style for the start menu but I will leave here plane 8 style for the start menu then you can also change if you want icon size and also icon count and here you can also enable pretty much almost every single thing here if you want to you can also deep dive on all of these settings by yourself then if we proceed with the taskbar option so you can also disable the enhance the taskbar so you can also revert the taskbar to the windows 11 style and then you can also for example use only modified windows 10 start menu and the default windows 11 taskbar then you can also change the icon size and also icon margins but what's really interesting is how you can actually change the start menu icon so here we have windows 11 start menu icon then we have this green one which looks something like this windows 10 one and we have here windows 7 one for the sake of this video i will leave this windows 10 style enabled so for the corners icons you can also change that as well which is very very interesting with this program so if you open for example the calendar here at the bottom right you should see windows 10 style for the calendar but if you change this for example to windows 11 you will see this windows 11 style of the calendar if you want you can also center the taskbar icons on your taskbar basically so if you select that you can also see how the windows 10 style of the taskbar looks with the centered task icons then you can also enable segments so here we have your apps and here at the bottom right you have the calendar volume and so and so on and you can also enable transparency if you want to for the taskbar buttons you can also change this option as well so for example if you want to hide the labels of your open applications then you can also select here always hide labels and you can also change the position of the taskbar 
with this program, which is very, very interesting. So here the default option is of course bottom, but if you want, you can also change the position of the taskbar to the right, to the left or to the top. But I usually prefer the bottom option here as well. If you want, you can also change the Explorer style. So you have here Windows 11 command bar, you have Windows 10 ribbon UI and we also Windows 7 command bar. So let me show you how the file explorer right now looks like with this program. So this is how it actually looks like with this Windows 10 style. If we go here to the advanced options, you can also customize the appearance of the start menu as well as the taskbar. So let me show you how you can modify these settings with this program. So here, for example, if you use custom taskbar coloring, you can enable this check mark. Then for this teardrop, you can select here clear, blur or acrylic. So if I select here clear, you can also see how the taskbar actually changed its color. And here we can also pretty much pick whichever color you prefer. Right now I will select this white color for example, click OK here and then you can basically increase or decrease the intensity of this color. Then you can also change the start menu coloring. So for example, you can also select here blur, acrylic and clear, change the color to let's say white once again. And then I will decrease this value here and let's open the start menu. You can also see that it's almost transparent. But if you increase this value, you will see that there should be more white background. Now here you also have tweak windows settings. So for example, if you want to use new font for classic UI, UI, you can also enable this check mark here as well. If you install this program for every single user, you can also disable this program for the current user and then the other users will have the start all back enabled, but this one will have the default Windows 11 style of the taskbar as well as for the start menu. What I didn't talk about at the intro of this video is that this program is actually paid. So if you want, you can also buy this program on this website website, which I will also put a link in video description. And uh, yeah, I think that you have here, as it says, you have 100 days of trial, which is plenty to test this program out. And um, I think it's totally worth it about five dollars for this program. As you can see, for one computer is five dollars. I think it's totally worth it. But keep in mind that there is also a free alternative. So the free alternative is, is actually called Explorer Patcher, which you can also download on this GitHub website. But I won't go through this application in this video because I already made a video about the Explorer Patcher, which you can also check out on my YouTube channel. Oh, and I almost forgot how you can basically uninstall this program. So if you don't want all these start all back on your computer anymore, you can then simply navigate here to the settings. You can then go here to the apps, select here installed apps, scroll down until you find start all back, click on these three dots and then you can select here uninstall and basically uninstall start all back from your computer. So this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you if you watch until the end of this video. If you want, you can also check out the first link in the video description for this amazing wallpaper pack. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like this video and all the required files for the start all back as well as for the explore patcher, which is free alternative for the start all back will be linked in the video description down below. So with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.